That over there is my 1972 Citroen SM that I bought back in March. And over here is a trailer. Why am I talking about the trailer? Well, I need this trailer tomorrow because I'm actually going to pick up a second one of those to turn two cars into one and have hopefully a functional vehicle. So in this video we're going to get ready to see if we can actually do this properly. Well, I want to put everything around this area like the trailer and the truck to get it staged for tomorrow morning. So I'm going to have to move the solstice. I could put it behind the Jag but I actually use the Jag for right now. So I'll just back it up in front of the LeBaron there because that's broken anyway. All right, well, let's pop there. Let's go line the truck up. Well, first, we got to clean the truck out because it's kind of full of an engine block right now. Well, it looks like the stuff I got to clean out of here are this hose reel, the traffic light, the what appears to be either an alternator or an AC compressor. I think it's an AC. Yeah, it's an AC compressor. The boat anchor, the two blocks, and this Ford 170 cubic inch straight six. And while I'm moving the Ford straight six, actually... There's a uh, A-series, a rotted, locked-up A-series block for parts that I'll put with it. And I think I'll put these things in front of this camper behind the Rolls-Royce. Clear a bit out of here because it's out of the way. And just throw a tarp over it on a pallet. So uh, let's move that stuff. All right, I got the engines back here. I'm going to tell you, navigating this small path here is quite difficult when you don't want to run into what is possibly the only rust-free car that I have, which is very surprising, because it is a genuine British Leyland Rolls-Royce here. But this engine is for my sister's car, and this is a parts block for my Morris Minor Traveler, which is sitting right up here. This thing I picked up for $100. It's a fairly rust-free, it has almost no rust. Uh, chassis cab traveler all the bits to rebuild the woody section are in the back it is UK spec it's right hand drive and I got a good 1098 for this thing too for free so I just need that parts block for the distributor the oil pump and like some accessories all right with the truck cleaned out let's bring this back down and pick up the trailer using a Jeep because I don't like backing this truck up up here all right I have the boat hooked up to the Jeep. What is going on with this camera? There we go. That's a lot better. Anyway, I have the boat hooked up to the Jeep here and we are going to bring this down the path and get everything set up for tomorrow morning. Yeah, the engine was in it, but aerodynamics won't affect rolling it down a hill a little bit. Anyway, we have the SM <laughs> and uh, we, we have to load it on. Yeah, this thing's actually really nice. It's solid. Like there's a car here. For, look, for $800, well, basically for $1,300, both of these put together compared to the other SM, they put the two together for $1,300, you actually got a pretty nice car. And this doesn't actually look like it's that bad of a rebuild either. The dash is in good shape, everything's in good shape, it's got an intact windshield, it has paperwork, so this is going to be put back on the road very soon. SM is on the trailer. Now we got to chain everything down and uh, hopefully nothing goes disastrously wrong again. All right, I got the car home almost without issue. Did have a couple issues, but it's home. So now I have to start graphing out exactly what I'm going to do to get these two cars into one and uh, start driving them because I only have this thing until February. So, I gotta get it done by then. 
you know, just to be fun, just for fun, I cleaned out the trunk. And I found basically everything I needed, especially the arrow covers for the wheels. I also found all four wheel covers, too. All right, I have just moved this Chrysler out of its spot that it was in. I really want to get this thing on the road, but that stupid brake booster. This thing runs and drives perfectly. I did a whole bunch of rust repair work on this thing. You know, it's got a clean title, but this stupid, stupid brake booster here is blown. And I cannot find one of these, and it's very frustrating. Anyway, enough about the Chrysler. I have moved this thing out of the spot next to the other SM because I kind of want to put the two cars together because it would look pretty nice. So let's go get the other car. The other SM up here, and what I want to do is just drop it off here, bring this way up there and out of the way, and what I want to do is I just want to crank these wheels all the way to the side and just roll it back in this spot. Now, it would be very easy if I actually had a steering box in this thing, but I don't. And I do believe, yes, this one does have a steering box. But I'm not going to do all the work to take it out just to move the car 10 feet. Yeah, because there's a steering box in this one. But I don't feel like taking that out just to move it from there to there. It's quite a bit of work. So we'll just roll it and hope for the best. But I'm not going to do this right now. I'm going to do this tomorrow because it looks like it is absolutely going to pour. And uh, doing stuff like this in the rain is not fun. All right, so I got the car off the trailer, which is now down there. And uh, now we're going to do the very, very careful, extremely careful move of backing it into this spot. All right, with the muddy tire tracks, we can see that I put the SM in its proper spot. And I really lucked out with this one because literally I can build one good car between these two of them. Because anything missing off of this one is on this one. So basically, this one is going to be the drivetrain donor. This has a 2.7 liter V6 Maserati, of course, mated to a 5-speed manual transmission. And everything, this car is basically complete. It's got, it's missing some trim pieces at the back, like the taillights, which that one's got a broken taillight, which is a bit of a shame. But even the, uh, the center piece, I think, is in the trunk, if I'm not mistaken. And it's pretty complete inside, although it is, come on. It is in quite bad shape. It is complete. Like, I have this dash pod here, and uh, I have quite a bit of the stuff. I have the shifter linkage. Everything is complete, which is why I bought this thing. I opened the hood of this thing, like, in March, I think it was, I bought this thing. And uh, I just saw this one was very complete. I, $500, I couldn't really go wrong. So, but now I have two of them. But I'm both from the same guy, uh, Dave Burnham, who is a very reputable Citroen mechanic here in the United States. And, yeah, here we go. So, I've got to start tracking out what I want to do with both of these. And once I graph everything out, there's going to be a very big rebuild happening. Because I have until February to get these done. So, thanks for watching. This is going to be an amazing rebuild. This car is in much better shape than I thought it was originally. Like, everything on the interior is in pretty good shape. So, car's in good shape. We're going to rebuild both of these by hand. I'm actually going to start, I'm probably going to take that engine out within the next couple weeks and start the rebuild. So, uh, thanks for watching.